Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, that is a skull I'm wearing. I know this is one of the weirdest things out there probably, but I'm going to show you my socks. We have pumpkins, and yes, they came this way where one side is green and the other side is just orange and black. Here we have vampire socks. Happy Halloween. Thanksgiving is coming up. Black Monday, Cyber Monday. Uh, no, sorry, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been back in America. So today, <laughs> this is going to be crazy for you. If you're a crypto newbie or if you're a longtime follower of this channel, here's a statistic video. So get ready. No intro today, just Bitcoin, straight up Bitcoin. How many Bitcoin are there in circulation? 18,530,593 currently. October 31st, 2020, last few hours here before November, there's going to be new statistics in 2021, two months. There's 788 billionaires in the U.S. alone. There's a few thousand in the entire world. Now, how many millionaires are there? Quick second to think about this. Are there more millionaires or less millionaires than there is Bitcoin in circulation? Three, two, one. There actually are more millionaires in the United States alone. That's right. <laughs> in the United States alone, there are more millionaires then there is Bitcoin in circulation. That means if every single millionaire today in the United States alone, not including the UK, Germany, crypto-friendly countries like Japan and Malta and Switzerland and screw that, all of that, just the United States millionaires alone. If every single millionaire said, you know what, screw it, I want to buy Bitcoin, they wouldn't be able to. There are more millionaires in the United States alone than there are Bitcoin currently in circulation. And the maximum is 21 million Bitcoin. How many millionaires are there total? Oh, you're going to be surprised. Oh, this gets good. 46.8 million. 46.8 million people worldwide whose assets exceeded 1 million USD, of which nearly 40% lived in the United States. The total net worth of all millionaires stood at 100 58.261 billion dollars. Now, that's all the millionaires. Once you start to get into the billionaires, <laughs> that starts to get into crazy numbers because then you have people like Jeff Bezos who alone <laughs> at one point in time was worth over 200 billion dollars. And you got also Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg and some crypto guys, the CEO of Coinbase, the CEO, CZ of Binance, the famed Gemini founders, the co-founders, the Winklevoss twins. So anyways, there's a lot of billionaires out there and most of them are multi-billionaires and they keep growing because money, once you already have a lot of it, meaning once you have a few million dollars, because a million dollars it really depends. It's said over here whose assets exceeded. So that doesn't mean a million dollars cash. There might be a few people whose it's million dollar cash, but usually those are the sketchy people, right? Uh, very rarely someone just has a bunch of cash just all sitting out throughout. It's, it, that's only happening in the movies, right? Usually there are a lot of income sources. There's a bunch of streams coming in and millionaires and multi-billionaires, they make money while they're sleeping or they're huge company heads, or they just in, inherited all that money. But most of the multimillionaires right now and the new billionaires, they're not inheriting, or they're inheriting a few million and then they're transforming into it a huge fortune of a few hundred million, a few hundred billion even. They're constantly growing it. It is easy to make money once you already have a lot of money and once you have a lot of experience with money. So just using that statistic, 46.8 million and it's growing, that means that with a total circulation of 21 million Bitcoin, there will never be enough Bitcoin for all the millionaires of the world. 
That is absolutely crazy to think about. Obviously, not every single millionaire is going to get into Bitcoin or even into cryptocurrency. There's going to be a lot of old-fashioned millionaires and billionaires who are going to shun the nouveau riche. And they're going to look at Bitcoin and say, ah, I'll pass. I made my money from an industry from steel or from oil or coal or whatever. And that's okay. But as we continue to grow up, as there are more millionaires, as there are more younger millionaires who are making the majority of their money from technological advancements, you have a lot of Silicon Valley types, except now it's just not Silicon Valley anymore. Now it's in Hong Kong, now it's in Tokyo, now there are new bases in Bangkok. In Singapore, in Malta, in Berlin, in London, all over the world. Moscow, baby. Yeah, it's going global. In New Jersey alone, there are 294,000 millionaire households. So that means there's actually more because in households, well, if it's a married couple, if there's kids as well, they're inheriting. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of millionaires just in New Jersey alone. And I mean, you start thinking about New York and California. The United States millennial millionaires own an average of three properties with a real estate portfolio worth $1.4 million. About 44% of the millennial millionaires of the U.S. are concentrated in California, and 47% of the world's wealth is controlled by the top 1% of ultra-high net worth individuals. What does ultra-high net worth mean? Well, it's not just a million. There are various levels to this. For example, 1 million, 5 million, 10 million dollars, 25, 50, 100, 200, 500. I mean, you're, you're getting closer to the billionaire position there. The city with the biggest concentration of ultra-rich millionaires in New York has almost 10,000 ultra-high net worth individuals, 88, 65, and that's growing almost at 9K, pretty soon 10K. So what does this mean for the U.S. and the rest of the world? As there are going to be more millionaires, as there's more money to be created, and as more of these technological advancements happen... If you combine that with crypto, I mean, it's just something to think about. There's definitely going to be more millionaires who are investing in crypto, but these aren't going to be a $100 Bitcoin investment. It's not going to be a $10,000 investment. Some of these guys are going to be whales. What happens when a whale comes in? Maybe it's not even going to be Bitcoin. Maybe they're going to go into DeFi. What happens if someone just suddenly drops a million dollars into something that's worth $10 million or $20 million? Oh, oh, yeah, that's market manipulation, baby. But we're going to see some crazy stuff over the next few years. Anyways, Bitcoin's at 14000 So, see ya. My name is Michael Kubera. Have a good Halloween and happy November. <laughs>